Sziasztok! Hi everyone! I'm Sándor. Welcome to another Hungarian lesson. Let's see what does the expression az igen mean. Have you ever heard Hungarians say this? It's actually used in a variety of contexts. So let's dive in. First of all, if you look at this phrase literally, it means that, yes. The word az in this case is not the definite article. It's one of the demonstrative pronouns meaning that. So you can think of the literal meaning like that's a yes but it still has nothing to do with the actual meaning of this phrase. Actually, the actual meaning can be many things, so let's take a look at its usage. You can use this phrase when you're surprised, when you're impressed, when you acknowledge some great achievement, but also you can use it when you're disappointed or unimpressed. So the meaning of this phrase can go from whoa or wow or awesome to pathetic. There really is no one way of translating this, so I'd like to give you some examples so you can get the feel for it. Let's start with the positive side. So let's say your friend says, Lefutottam a maratont 20 perc alatt. Lefutottam a maratont 20 perc alatt. I ran the marathon in 20 minutes. Your answer can be, Az igen. In this case, you're impressed. So in this case, it means something like, Wow, or impressive. Actually, in cases like this, this expression is interchangeable with Nem semmi, which I've already done a video about. You can check it out if you want. Or let's say your friend says, Nyertem 5 millió dollárt. Nyertem 5 millió dollárt. I won 5 million dollars. This will most likely surprise you. And again, you can say, az igen. In this case, you're expressing your surprise. This is something unexpected. So in this case, it means something like, wow, or whoa. Like I said, it doesn't have one meaning. It changes within the context it's being used. And once again, you can use nem semmi in this case too. Now, surprises are not always positive. For example, a few days ago at work, I had to pick up a box full of stuff. Just by looking at it, it seemed pretty light. But as soon as I lifted it, it was much heavier than I thought it was going to be. And my immediate reaction was, oh, you can. Now, in this case, I can convey so much meaning with this phrase. Because by me saying, oh, you can, I actually meant that, whoa, this is much heavier than I thought. So I was expressing my surprise. Does that make sense? Or let's say you go home, you try to open your door, but it's stuck. And as you're trying to open it by pulling it really hard, you can say, Az igen. Once again, you're used to being able to just open the door, and now you're surprised that it doesn't open so easily. And, as I said, it can be used in a negative context as well. Let's say you see a drunk man trying to walk on the street, and then he falls into a ditch. You can say to yourself, Az igen. Can you hear the difference in my tone? Az igen. In this case, it means something like, pathetic. Or, let's say you have two small children. You have to leave the house for 10 minutes, and when you get back, it's total chaos. Toys and clothes are everywhere, the sofa is painted in six different colors, the kids are all covered in dirt, and the cat is locked in the birdcage. Whatever, you know. Then, you being very disappointed, can look at your kids and say, Az igen. Gratulálok. Az igen. Gratulálok. It means something like, Good job. Congratulations. Obviously, saying good job in a very sarcastic manner here. So as I said, it's pretty hard to describe what az igen actually means. I would suggest to expose yourself to as much natural Hungarian speech as you can and pay attention to when people use it. Because trust me, they will. The more you'll hear it, the more you'll understand it. Thank you all for studying with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And if you feel like supporting the channel even more, my paper information is in the description. See you in the next lesson. Sziasztok! A viszontlátásra!